Intersectionality is the overlap of various social identities that create systematic oppression and discrimination that is experienced by an individual. Patriarchy is a social system in which males essentially hold all the power in society. The issue with patriarchy is that at least a hegemonic masculinity, this idealized version of what it means to be a man, how a man should be. But how about those people that don't identify with that, which is essentially every man? I interviewed two people that don't necessarily fit the hegemonic masculinity idea, but at the same time represent their masculinity in a different way. The questions I asked them were to tell me their name, how old they are, how do they not identify fully. The second question was how has their experience of a man been different from the typical experience, what it comes to ideologies, relationships, school experience, etc., etc. The third question was what is your definition of what it means to be a man? And the last question was, how does the Theta Tau incident reaffirm that we still have a long way to go in our struggles for equality? Hi, my name is Christian Quiles. I am 21 years old and I identify as a gay Latino male. So how is my experience of being a man or a woman different from the typical experience? A gay Latino, uh, they're two pretty hard and rough um, groups, I guess, um, underrepresented groups to be a part of. And growing up, my family is very traditional. Uh, my grandmother is very um, Catholic, so is my, my parents, so they don't really believe in the concept of uh, there being gay or queer or lesbian people or bisexual people. Um, they just feel that everyone is the same. Everyone should grow up, date a person of a, the opposite sex and have children and life moves on. Um, so bringing that concept around them was kind of hard. Um, on top of that, being Latino in a society where everything's very black and white, uh, that's kind of hard, especially for Latinos who feel sometimes that they can identify as being black, but they also can identify as being white. It's just kind of in the middle, and that was kind of hard for me because I didn't know what kind of friends to have or who I should hang around. Um, but yeah, I guess that was different from the typical experience because everyone kind of, everyone else kind of felt like they fit in where they fat it, fit in, and that was it. I kind of felt all over the place. So what my definition, I, I guess, would be uh, for being a man uh, would probably be someone who isn't afraid of the skin they're in and um, isn't embarrassed or feels the type of way for embracing both their masculine and feminine side. Um, I guess another, I guess my definition would be also a person who's able to adapt to any situation, who is um, ready to just handle whatever comes at them. So the Theta Tau, uh, incident reaffirms how we have a long way to go because I feel like people who are marginalized, people who are constantly oppressed, this is a regular thing for them. So this was just a, another situation of a whole bunch of different things that are going on in our society. Um, but I was at the town hall meeting yesterday and the one thing that stood out to me was when someone spoke about how as an oppressed people we shouldn't wait for instances like this to come together and fight for something, we should already stand together. And that really uh, stuck out for me because there shouldn't be any divide. We should all yeah. be united, one, equal. Um, there shouldn't be a problem. My name's Alex Mercado. I'm a 21-year-old Dominican male. I identify as Latino, heterosexual, cisgender. Uh, yeah. My experience as a man has been different in the sense that I try not to conform to all the gender roles or, or the norms that are placed on us as men. So like growing up in a Latino household, you know, we're taught not to like express emotions too much. Like anything that seems feminine would be considered gay. And if you're gay, that goes against like everything that's like Latino oriented. Um, so I would I would always kind of like try and express myself whatever way possible. Like. Um, I'd be open with my emotions. I'm in touch with my feminine side. Like, I'll go get my nails done. I'll do a face mask with my girlfriend at night. Like, I don't know, stuff like that. 
it's hard to find a definition, a concrete definition of what a man is. But if I would have to give a definition of what it means to be a man, for me, it, it's basically being true to who you are, um, you know, against all judgment, against whatever the world has to say about you, you know, just sticking true to your morals and your beliefs, um, being a wholesome person, uh, being there for the people that need you, uh, no matter what, uh, providing for those who are important to you, being supportive of everyone who means something to you. It's all about being true and being real, specific, specifically to yourself and especially those to, you, to those around you. In light of the recent events that have happened on campus regarding the, um, the professional fraternity, Theta Tau, um, I, I think that, that the release of that video um, shows the nature and the reality of what it's like to be an oppressed group of people um, in society today, you know, today being 2018. Um, I myself being a Latino male who identifies with a few minority uh, groups of people, I think it's kind of ridiculous that we still have these struggles to face where people consider our our culture, our our way of life a joke, you know, um, something to make fun of, something to be used as a punchline um, for the enjoyment and the entertainment of others. Um, um, 